You're in the team playing quite a bit at the minute. How much are you um, enjoying it? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's been unbelievable, to be fair. And, you know, I got in the team, waited for a bit, you know, like a month and a bit, and then finally got in and kind of took my opportunity. And I think I'm doing all right, so um, I'm happy to keep playing and keep getting the experience in. When you were not in the side to begin with, was that just a case of kind of keeping your head down and believing at some point your chance had come? Yeah, obviously I'm coming into a new place and, you know, they need to have a look and see what I'm about day to day as well. So I was just trying to show them that, you know, if I wasn't in the team, my attitude and characteristics wouldn't change. So I think that was the most important thing, just to keep being me and keep training hard. And since you've got it, how much have you enjoyed it? Oh, it's been great, you know, yeah. playing next to Faz, jump in the air like a pterodactyl. And Zach, obviously, he's massive as well. And uh, I think we've built a really good partnership over over the past month, month or two. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, the team were conceding some goals to begin with this season, but actually in the last seven or eight games, you've, you've been pretty tight, haven't you, defensively? I mean, yeah. is, that, is, that, is that pretty pleasing? Yeah, I mean, you can feel it in the game. And I think when you watch us as well, it's you don't really feel like we, we are going to concede because everyone's doing the job really well. And um, there's a real team spirit and belief. And we've got a pride that we don't want to concede a goal as well as go and try and score. So... I think it's been really good to watch and to play in. Yeah, and I guess defensively from your point of view, that's the most important thing. Isn't it? Yeah. If you're difficult to be, I mean, you must get a great sense of kind of achievement from that. Yeah, already. I think I've had two clean sheets, so um, you know, I couldn't ask for any more. What would you prefer, clean sheets or just getting up and scoring the odd goal? I think I'd rather clean sheets All because right. then you know you've done your job. But you know, hopefully, I'll score my goal at some point. <laughs> I missed I missed one dinner um, last week or the week before that. Sorry and. I thought that was my chance, but I think it'll come soon. You've got your celebration worked out if you score? Mm, yeah, I've got a couple, but I'm not really sh too sure which one. <laughs> it might end up just being a fist bump or something <laughs> to the air. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of the loan move, I mean, obviously you want to get in and play some football. You're obviously in the team at the minute. Um, how do you rate this or view this as your step on your kind of development, this, this move to, to Aki? I think it's massive. I've really enjoyed it. And um, obviously I always ask for feedback off the coaches and... Um, speak to people at United as well just so I'm still in the loop and obviously everyone thinks that it's a, a really good thing for me and I believe that as well because obviously it's a different side to my game that I've kind of got to adapt to and develop which is being more physical and being able to handle bigger players and strikers and how you use your body and kind of picking up the dark arts in a way. Is there a view from United that it's important that younger players do get out there? I mean I appreciate not every younger player wants to go out on loan. Mm. It's perhaps, if anything, the more difficult decision to do that, isn't it? I mean, what, what's the view from back at United about it? Yeah, I mean, the safe thing would be to kind of stay in, mm. stay in the academy and play the 21s and maybe get a chance. But I think um, if you push it yourself and you want to take the initiative to try and forge a career for yourself, then uh, I think you can only benefit from that because you're putting yourself in the position where you want to um, keep getting better. So... I think in the end, you're only trying to do the right things. And as long as I keep doing that, then hopefully I keep getting better and, you know, whatever happens, happens. What was the main thing you noticed or the main things you noticed when you first made your league debut compared to kind of age group football? Yeah, so I think compared to the under-21s, I think it was so important to win your duels and your battles, 1v1, headers. Defensively, you have to make sure that, you know, it's kind of not your fault as well as a team thing where everyone needs the, to win or to draw just because the table you want to keep getting up there and near promotion. So I think that's the difference where the games kind of mean a lot more in a way. You have, and you're almost, I guess, having to learn a little bit on the job, I guess, aren't you? Yeah. Which must be a good thing. Yeah, because I don't think you can train how you know the pressure is when you're on the pitch or you know, when you're in an important game or the last 10 minutes when you're 1-0 up and you need the clean sheet and a win. So um, I think, yeah, learning on the job, but the players around me have really helped me and, you know, they're all great. So, yeah. I'm at the age now where I've commentated on players' dads. So I, I remember your dad playing. And do you, really? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I know I don't look it. Um, do, do you have much kind of how, how often does he get down to see you what's he up to now what, what, what kind of is that relationship like obviously yeah, so, he's a centre half isn't he yeah so obviously growing up throughout my uh, academy career he's always been there and giving me the right advice um, 
he's always been in football, and he? so he was working for the PFA, but he's moved to Singapore now. So he's out there, but obviously he came over for my debut, which was amazing. Um, but obviously we're still in contact every day, still getting my advice. Um, so nothing's really changed. Yeah, still listen yeah. to your dad, still yeah. uh, take it on board. 100%, you've got yeah. to be a student at the end of the day. And you know, whether it's my dad or anyone who's been through the game, you've always got to listen because at the end of the day, they know more than you, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. do you see yourself being a similar type of player as your dad or not? Uh, better player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, well, he's left footed and I'm right footed. Right. But yeah, no, I obviously want a career just as good as his and mm. hopefully better. So mm. that's the that's the aim. And you're here to the end of the season, aren't you? So it's not like yeah. it's a short term deal or he's reassessing the new year, I guess. This is a full commitment to the end of the campaign, is it? Yeah, 100%. I'm here and, you know, my full focus is on Arkenton. So uh, I want what's best for the club and uh, I want the whole team to do really well. So. That's the that's the aim.